Merry Christmas to all of you guys. This is me Ron and welcome to the new video. In this video, I am going to suggest you the programming language that you should learn in 2020. And at the end of this video, I will give you some bonus tips also. I will never say you that you should learn this or that particular programming language because it really depends upon the requirement and your interest. So let's categorize them based on the requirements and interest python if you are interested in data science artificial intelligence machine learning then you should learn python instead of other programming language because python is intended for this field and popular in this field it doesn't mean that you should not learn other programming language but it means that you should emphasize your learning on python python is really easy to learn object oriented programming language and the most popular programming language since couple of year now javascript one of the most popular web language in these days is javascript if you are interested on web or mobile application then you should learn javascript not only javascript but also html and css for front end and php or asp.net for backend but nowadays due to the development of framework in javascript javascript can be used as backend also javascript is a client side programming language but with the help of framework it can be executed on both server and clients framework like node.js angular.js are popular to build a web application but framework like react native can be used to build mobile application for both android and ios so learning javascript in 2020 can be advantageous for you because it can swing both sides mobile application and web application now comes java if you are interested on enterprises application then you should learn java with the help of java you can build any type of application ranging from desktop to web web to mobile so java is all around the application wherever you want to go in most of the growing software company they prefer java as their working language so if your dream is to get the job on such established company you should start learning java in 2020 now next comes swift i know this programming language is not for all the devices that we have in this world but it cannot deny that most of the people in this world are big fan of apple product and apple product software are built using this language that is swift previously objective c is used to build the application for ios or mac but now apple itself recommended swift by knowing the fact that it cannot be used for all the devices why it would be your better decision to launch Swift in 2020. The answer is simple and straightforward because it covers most of the market and people loving Apple products. So you have future if you learn Swift language. In fact this Apple company is standing in one side of the tech world and all other companies are on the other side but still Apple products are gaining popularity day by day and Apple is winning so you should learn swift language if you want to be a mac or ios developers and earn a lot of money by selling your application one more thing apple products user are not like other products user they buy your application while other platform user are using your application for free so if you want to be rich very quickly haha <laughs> learn swift language but it is not easy to be a renowned mac or ios developer now here comes csab in this open source world i know most of the developers won't talk about uh, this language because it is not open source but having said that it doesn't mean that uh, it is not popular or you should not learn c in 2020. It is a popular language and most of the software company using it and loving this language. I strongly recommend you to learn c if you are interested in building Windows application. Not only Windows application but also web and mobile application. That's why I call it all-rounder programming language you can build the native application for both android and ios with the single code base in jammerin using csab also microsoft make us easy to build the application by providing a beautiful ide from where you can drag and drop the controls now next comes c or c plus plus these two programming language are base of modern programming language if you are interested in embedded system where execution of the program plays vital role means execution should be very quickly no delay no lagging you must learn c or c plus plus you may ask what is an embedded system 
it is the combination of hardware and software in a system c is mostly used in writing operating system whereas c plus plus is used in real-time simulation image processing etc and in most of the companies coding round they may prefer you to solve the problem either in c or c plus plus in all engineering college c and c plus plus are the mandatory programming language in the syllabus one more thing if you learn c and c plus plus it is very easy to learn other programming language like java c sharp so what can i say is even if you are not interested in embedded system you must learn c and c plus plus in 2020 because it is the base of all programming language and if you learn this language it is very easy to learn other programming language now let's move into the bonus rounder tips part now let's examine the current world or trend everybody have a smartphone right and this smartphone user have internet connection also right now what they want is a developer we need to evaluate what user wants and their interaction so the user either wants mobile application that is ios or android application or they have internet connection so they go for accessing the web only few of them will go to open the pc and execute their program right so which programming language to learn in 2020 a big question i strongly recommend it where there are more users we need to go to that side means learn such programming language which can be used to build both web and mobile application that's it choice is yours so that's it in this video guys if you like this video share this video with your friends so that they can know about this video and give thumbs up which really motivates us to create such videos and stay connected with this channel in order to stay connected with this channel you need to subscribe this channel subscribe this channel and thank you once again for watching this video have a good day bye bye